Portugal and especially Lisbon and it finds its uniqueness in conveying this feeling that in Portuguese the word is saudade which is longing there's no really close translation for it in English or in a lot of other languages because it's not just longing it's the feeling of being separated by fate from someone or something that you feel that you're destined to be to be with something, someone that is important to you but you know that you can't have. When you go out at night in Lisbon, all over the place you'll find in big bars, small bars, in fancy restaurants, or in you know dingy little back alleys. Anywhere you go, you'll find Fado singers everywhere. And it shows how this is a form of live music that's really ingrained in the culture and also gives a life and it gives a community to all of these musicians who are a part of it, who are a part of this unique cultural music that's special to Lisbon and special to Portugal. But there was a guy, a mulato, a Brazilian mulato, who came back and he, he, Domingos Caldas Barbosa, he was very famous here and make lots of success. So it's, it's, this is not fado, okay? This is proto before fado. So this, this kind of music is coming from Brazil. There is the, the, the dances in Brazil and, and the, so it's not the, today's fado, it was something before. I heard one Fado singer say that the reason they keep their eyes closed while they sing is because while they sing, they're supposed to be looking at their heart. And it speaks to the fact that these singers aren't just giving lyrics and they're not just trying to give a beautiful song, but instead this is a tradition that's rooted in trying to help the entire city, the entire country, lift this feeling of longing, lift this feeling of separation. And coming back to Fado, the, the word meaning fate, that even though there are things we can't have, there are people that we're always going to be separated from, part of us can accept that and part of us can feel it and convey those feelings and channel those feelings to understand that we have them. And then 
we start to go back to father and try to find new Amalias. <laughs> and uh, so the last 15 years, father became big, became big, big, big. Okay. 